guys. Uh, my name is Bergen Giordani, and I am the owner of One Hot Cookie and the development director for the Rich Center for Autism. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen, so it's very exciting, and you'll hear Remington in the background doing his thing. Um, here during the Do you, Do you Live show and the update for today, and I just wanted to start off by saying that, yes, I am the development director for the Rich Center. I do own One Hot Cookie, and I consider myself really lucky because I get to own my own business, and I also get to raise funds for a school that provides free education for students with autism, so it doesn't get much better than that. For those of you who don't know or are unfamiliar with the Rich Center, it is located on the campus of Youngstown State University in Fedor Hall. We're coming up here, it's the end of March and beginning of April, and April is a really crazy month for my world in general. So it's Autism Awareness Month, which means that a lot of great community groups and activities are doing fun things for the Rich Center to raise money and raise awareness. Uh, one Hot Cookie is one of those groups, we'll talk about that in a second. But um, something I just wanna bring your attention to is April 22nd, our parents put together a night at the races it's a really fun event. If you've never been to one, you need to just come check it out because it's kind of hard to explain. But you watch old tapes of horse races and bet on them. So April 22nd, Night at the Races to benefit the Rich Center. Uh, message me here if you need tickets, and we'll get you hooked up with those. They're really inexpensive. I think it's $15 a ticket if you buy them in advance. And that includes dinner, and it's BYOB, so a good time. It is also April is our four-year anniversary of One Hot Cookie. So... Um, which is crazy. It feels like it's been 40 years. Sometimes it feels like it's been four minutes, but um, four hot minutes for sure. That's something I like to say. But so for your anniversary on April 4th, we'll be doing some fun things downtown. We'll have some giveaways. We've got some media coming up and um, doing things like that. We are also going to be launching our special edition flavor of Popped, our new popcorn, gourmet popcorn line that One Hot Cookie has. Um, we put together a special flavor just for the month of April for the Rich Center for Autism. 100% of the sales are going to be donated to the Rich Center. So essentially you're going to be making a donation to the Rich Center. One Hot Cookie is going to give you a bag of popcorn. It, it's a great deal. And we taste tested some of the popcorn yesterday. It's a birthday cake flavor that it's just really great. And it's got blue sprinkles, so it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm, like, it's just great. We love that we can do things like that. And when all of my worlds collide, um, it's just a good thing. Um, so today we're going to talk about marketing. And one of the things I wanted to touch on is online reviews and online customer interaction. So first, the reviews. We love them. We hate them. And unfortunately, as a business, you can live and die by the reviews. I know that whenever we're looking to go somewhere new to eat, or something to do, we're always checking out the reviews. What are other people saying? What are their thoughts? What was their experience? Um, so they're out there, people read them, they're important, but how do you handle them? So at One Hot Cookie, we take the reviews very seriously. We don't like to hear bad news ever, of course, but when we do, we like to acknowledge it right away. We recognize that sometimes we make mistakes and that sometimes people don't have the best experience. And we wanna know about it because we can't fix it if we don't know about it. So what we do is we try to address any negative review or comment as soon as we can. Because if you've ever been upset, you know that what you wanna do is feel, feel acknowledged. You want someone else to say, hey, like I hear you, that, that sucks. Like, tell me about your experience. Tell me what was so bad. So you can just get it out there and talk about it. But what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna have the customer who is upset tell the whole world why they were upset. Negative thoughts, bad news, those things kind of grow like weeds and we don't like them. So we want the public to see, excuse me. We want the public to see that we're here, we're listening to you, we're acknowledging you, but let's take it offline. Let's take it in a private message. Tell me what's wrong, but tell me privately and let me fix it privately. We, um, we, want, we want to fix it, we need to. One of the other things we do is we love when we hear positive comments and we like to share those and retweet them back and repost them and say thank you to our customers because it's social media. We wanna be social on there. So what you wanna do is, is like them, share them, thank them, talk to them, ask them questions. When you're doing that, it becomes less like you are just an advertiser on TV pushing this message at them and pushing it and more like a friend, just posting something great that's going on in your world or saying, hey, how can I help? Um, just a couple things 
last week we put a post out there and said, tell us what cookie flavors you want to see. We, we want to hear what flavors you like. And that way we know what our customers want and we're engaging with them and we're getting ideas and different fresh things and we're listening to them. So then we ask that question and a lot of times there's some companies or some customers think that it just goes away and we don't care. But today our management team went through every single post and response to that post and went through and picked out the ones that they liked. So we compiled a list and in the next couple days we'll be taste testing and tweaking the recipes and taking some things that one person said and putting them with something someone else said and coming up with new flavors. So we're out there, we're listening, talk to us, talk to the companies that you like. And as a company, as a business owner, talk back to your customers because they, they want to be heard and they want to feel that they're engaged and involved in the process. So those are just um, a couple quick things about how we handle our social media and how we respond to comments, complaints, and thoughts online at One Hot Cookie. So um, I think that's about it. Make sure you like the Do Yo Live page to get updates about the event. And if you haven't liked One Hot Cookie or the Rich Center for Autism, like those pages too. So um, I think that's it for tonight. I apologize. I feel like I've been a little rushed. But um, have a great evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you in August.